Now let my potential to this has This isn't as cozy as the other one, but there's a lot more going on. <laughs> Alright, uh, back at the land once more. Yep, another day of building and fixing and constructing and deconstructing. <laughs> we have uh, Jacques with us as well, he's, he's right here. You, know, you guys will see more of him in a bit. Um, but yeah, so today we will hopefully uh, put some progress towards the ceiling in the caravan. Mm -hmm. and yeah, there's some battens I want to put in and we have to go out and buy those and buy some plywood to fix the wall up as well, but hopefully that'll be at least some progress will be done today. Um, and I'm actually going to mess with the awning just a little bit, just a little bit, just fine, fine finishing touches. Um, but yeah, I'll tell you guys more about it in just a second. Uh, in the meantime, if you guys haven't done so, make sure to like and subscribe. Um, and yeah, let's get to it. That's it. Let's get scrappy. So this is what I'm working with. Last time I had to pull out this whole section of wall, plus a couple of sections down here as well, um, just because a lot of it was rotten. So today I'm going to try to replace some of the battens, like this is all rot, so is this. Replace some of this stuff, plus you know the pieces I pulled out that were in here as bracing, and see if I can actually turn this back into a wall again. Both of those pieces with my Leatherman, my multi tool. Had this thing for like 10 years now. And it has never let me down. I love these. Um, Leatherman, please sponsor this channel. <laughs> I love your stuff. Alright, I've cut my first piece, hopefully to size. Let's put it in and see if it fits. Yay! Not bad at all. Not bad at all. This is what the ceiling was made out of. Nothing.
got her stuck in there pretty good I'd say we chose against um, using concrete as this is just a temporary solution for the temporary solution now I will build the extension uh, to the frame of the awning and then connect it to this and hopefully um, that will vastly improve things. What we will actually try to do now is kind of roll the tarp around uh, the post um, and for that we need to find something soft um, to cover the top with so that it doesn't rip up the tarp. And I found something with it fits like a glove. This is what it looks like now. We tied this end to the bottom of the posts. Um, and yeah, I mean, not too bad, not perfect. Far from perfect. Um, I'll show you guys from the inside. Um, so I folded both ends and tied them up. Um, and there are a couple of strings as well anchoring the arch here on the edge. Um, but yeah, I mean, all in all, it is definitely an improvement. Um, so a little space we didn't have before. <laughs> okay, time to start drilling stuff in. Fingers crossed it all goes well. Struggling. I'm hot and <laughs> tired. And I can't get the screws to go in the way I want them to. It's all part of the journey, part of the adventure. <laughs> Things are going well. We've got the batten in the bottom, we've got the batten in the top. Now we're going to put some bracing on. Nuno's going to cut me some more pieces. I'm going to keep screwing this in and that'll be the frame done, I think. Uh, then this monstrosity that comes next. And then insulation and cladding. Alright, Nuno has just cut the rut out of this beam and I've got these two pieces of pallet wood that we cut last time we were here. I'm going to attach those, try to elongate this again, uh, extend it again, and then attach it to that wall, hopefully hold up the caravan roof. Alright, so I have finished the awning improvements and I'm helping Jazz with the roof um, where I can, but there's a bit of a too many cooks on the kitchen situation right now, so I decided to take upon myself to start another project and it's actually going to be to try and fix and start the fridge which we have. This is a gas fridge. Um, I've actually worked with these in the past, so um, you are not going to watch us cluelessly stumble through a challenge. Again? Again, we're actually going to be able to do it right this time. Um, I don't have any of the connections or gas required to really start it. Um, but yeah, just to take it off of the, um, the frame, we'll have to do a couple of things in the back to get it running. So yeah, I'm gonna do that.
All right. Hmm, doesn't seem to be connected to anything. These are actually um, very curious little setups, these gas fridges. Um, they actually run on ammonium. We have um, a pilot light which will heat up the ammonium. And what ammonium does after it's heated is it super chills. So pretty much what these systems do is they harness that power. So um, there will be a little pilot light which will heat up the ammonium. Um, it will go up and in these coils it will spread that cold to the fridge and then um, the, the cycle continues. What generally happens with these and what we'll have to do um, in terms of maintenance is the ammonia tends to crystallize inside the coil. So we'll need to tap it, break it, turn it, tap it, break it, turn it, um, so that the ammonia can um, freely um, flow inside the system. Pretty much what I've been trying to do is just tap the coils um, to see if I can break up the ammonium crystals and to start to um, get this to flow a little bit. Um, sadly, I am not, um, yeah, not having too much success with this endeavor. Um, heat might help. We might need to revisit this at a later time, though it looks very, very old and very, very beat up. Um, after seeing the back of it, I'm not as hopeful that we will be able to get this to work. Um, but yeah, it's going to have to be a challenge for another day. What are you up to, Jess? I am finally attaching the, the beam, the rotten beam, reattaching it scrappily, but very successfully. Um, last screw is going in. I hope. Oh no, did I put it right next to where another screw was? Sounds like you did. Oh, and it's not very strong. Whew. All right. Success! Look at this! Oh man, I'm so happy with how this turned out, actually. Much better than I expected. Look at this! Look at this! You had none of this today! Ta-da! <laughs> Scrappy Homestead does it again. Great success! So, two weeks ago when we were here last, we set up a trap for the Asiatic wasp, which is an invasive species. It's a real baddie. If you haven't seen that episode, you can check it out here. Yeah, and so we're going to see if we've caught any wasps, any bad guys. Let's hope so. What have we got? Ooh, look at the That doesn't look like we got a lot of... There's just a ton of flies in there. Like, really a lot of flies. Not a single wasp that I can see. And some fruit flies. Well, I guess we'll try again. Yeah, yeah. I was just pondering about whether we'd get any figs from this tree this year. And look, we've already got some little baby figs. Look at those. We're going to have a harvest of four. But, I mean, hopefully there's some more. Yeah, there's one more here. Oh, this is so nice. We have figs. Yay! Cute. Another day is in the books. Yes. And I, we were a bit slow and a bit tired today, but I think we actually got a lot done. I'm super impressed with how this turned out, and I'm really, really happy with how the awning turned out as well. It's looking much better. I mean, it's, better. it's much better. It's an improvement. I think Jacques, as usual, had a very good time. He enjoyed so. himself thoroughly. Yeah. Um, yeah. All in all, good progress today. Um, as usual, a big, big thank you to our patrons yes. for supporting our channel. Thank you so much. Thank you to everyone who likes and subscribes and yeah. interacts with our videos. Yeah, th and just thank you for watching. It's really lovely to share this journey with you. And yes. yeah, we appreciate all of the support and the comments that we get. Thank you, really. Thank you also to everyone who's been buying the yeah, our merch. Yeah, yeah. If you did end up getting a shirt, um, please like tell us what yes. you think of it. Um, if you don't know what we're talking about, there's links down here um we've got some shirts that we designed plus another friend of ours came and designed some as well antonio 
Um, yeah, so if you want to support us and some local small artists, then you can get your own. Yeah. And that's it. Hopefully next time we'll have more of a wall and more of a roof on this. Yes, fingers Stay crossed. Stay tuned. Okay, bye. Get a dynamic shot. Huh? Huh? Exactly. 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 Alright. <laughs>